Hey, welcome back to another video. I'm here in the city of Tifton. I'm in the historic downtown Tifton area. So we're gonna be exploring this area, the city, and see what it's all about. You got nothing to say? Okay, let's watch. So during the Thanksgiving break, my family and I decided to visit some friends of ours who live in Tifton, Georgia. We were coming from Tampa, Florida, so it's about a four hour drive up I-75 to Tipton. So let me give you some fun facts about this place. If you're ever in the area of Tipton, Georgia, you can have an idea about what there is to do there. Tipton is a small, quiet city located in South Central Georgia. Now, let me give you some quick history on who is the founder of the city of Tipton, Henry H. Tiff. Henry H. Tiff founded the city in 1872, and then in 1890, Tifton was incorporated as a city. Now let's check out some cool places to visit while visiting Tifton. Now one of the cool things to do in Tifton is to visit the Tiff Theater for the Performing Arts. This theater has been around since 1937, when Hollywood came to Tifton. The Tiff Theater opened its doors with the premiere performance of Pennies from Heaven. The theater delighted Tifton with the silver screen and blockbuster releases, and in theatrical productions. However, the theater had to close its doors in 1987. But the community rallied together to refurbish the historic Tiff Theater, and now it is a fully functioning theater. Another fun thing to do in Tifton is to search for statues of the University of Georgia Bulldogs scattered throughout the city. The dogs were brought to Tifton to encourage support for the University of Georgia Tifton campus. Local businesses purchased the statues and collaborated with local artists to paint each bulldog with a design theme of their choice. The local Chick-fil-A named their dog Nugget. The Ameris Bank called their dog Buck. Planet Fitness called their dog Gear. There are 11 statues in all across Tifton and UGA Tifton encourages people to take pictures with the Bulldog statues and to post them on social media with the hashtag Nifty Tifty. Now one thing you'll notice by visiting Tifton is a lot of open farmland. Tifton plays a big part in the agriculture business. In a 2018 article published by the Tifton Gazette, the agriculture business contributes $73 billion to Georgia's $972 billion economy each year, according to the University of Georgia's Center for Agribusiness and Economic Development. With 383,600 Georgians working in agriculture, forestry, or a related field. The crops that are grown in Tipton are cotton, watermelon, peaches, pecan trees for pecans, not to mention hay bales to feed cattle, horses, goats, and sheep. place that my family and I go to while visiting Tifton is a local church led by my longtime friend Javier Flores. It is a Spanish-speaking church with the name of United Latin American Pentecostal Church. The actual church building is actually really cool looking because it actually looks like Noah's Ark. Hola, aquí estamos en la Iglesia Pentecostal Unida Latinoamericana, donde pastorea un amigo mío, Javier Flores, y quiere darnos un saludo. Dios les bendiga a todos los, mis hermanos. Les saludo en el nombre admirable de nuestro gran Dios Jesucristo. Gracias a Dios por el hermano Duber, un gran amigo 
muy viejo de, digamos este país y siempre que él pasa por aquí y pues, nos visita estamos haciendo este pequeño video invitando a todos los hermanos que en algún momento puedan pasarse por aquí por la ciudad de Tisto estamos ubicado donde es el arca muy conocida en este lugar y estamos en el 1800 North Central Avenue y les invitamos para que venga a escuchar la palabra del Señor Jesús gracias hermano Duber que el Señor le bendiga ¿Qué día tienen los servicios aquí? Tenemos los días viernes a las 8 de la noche y los domingos a las 11 de la mañana. Ese es el horario que tenemos establecido para hacer los servicios. Bueno, ya saben, si están por la ciudad de Tifton, necesitan buscar una iglesia, pueden llegar a este lugar y el Señor los va a guardar y los va a ayudar en mucho. All right, everybody, that's the end of the video. I want to give a special thanks to my friend Daniel Flores. He's the one who provided the drone footage that you saw in the video. So Danny, thank you for that. Danny is a photographer. So if anyone is looking for a photographer for a wedding or some type of event, go ahead and contact him. Check out his Facebook page, check out his Instagram, and he also makes YouTube videos. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching these videos. Bye.